I've got this kit to uh, replace this rear view mirror. Um, it comes with a razor blade and the first thing they say to do is to go ahead and make sure you scrape off all the old adhesive. Uh, looks like a little bit is coming off, so we'll go ahead and do that for now. Holding the uh, sandpaper flat on a table, you uh, rub that in a circular motion to get the residue of the glue off. That was already pretty clean. Now it didn't say what to do with the alcohol prep pad, but I think next we should use that. One for the window or windshield, one for the um, button they call it, that the rearview mirror attaches to. And then we will put the, uh, we'll coat it with the uh, activator. Now it's time for the activator, which I guess they don't want you to touch because they say to hold it by the edges of the foil. But they go ahead and coat this area. So get that, whoops. Coat this area on the windshield. And then I'll get the button. One drop of adhesive to the center. You actually have to cut it, which wasn't made clear. One drop, it says. So now we just hold it in place for 30 seconds. Okay, allow it to dry for 30 minutes, and then we will put the mirror on. All right. Um, here's the mirror. It will slide down over the button. It's been about an hour. Uh, I forgot to show you the part where I unscrewed the screw to get the button off. So the screw just tightens and holds it, but the mir mirror should stay down by the mirror should stay down by gravity. Um, again, I'm making a video, so someone's going to be blowing leaves. All right, there we go. All looks good. Let's just uh, tighten this down. Not focusing. There we go, looks good, all fixed.